construction projects may be delayed for a variety of reasons. Weather, pandemics, lack of resources, funding, and more. Um, but this project seems to be the perfect storm of all of them. And the reason why it took eight years is what we're going to look into today. Well, for starters, um, uh, the I-30 and State Highway 360 project takes span around here in, uh, I think, Grand Perry, Arlington area. And the reason why they had to make, the reason why this project was made in the first place was to replace the existing uh, turnpike interchange because, you know, I-30 actually used to be a turnpike back in the day. It wasn't always a freeway. It was more, it was a tollway. And the tollway interchanges were still existing, like, and they had to be replaced, hence why reconstruction has been taking place on the uh, west of uh, downtown Dallas. Some of these interchanges include uh, Loop 12, maybe Hampton Road, and uh, lots of others that haven't been replaced, but eventually will be. This was another one of them that they wanted to take care of and uh, uh, for it to go away. So they turned it from a cloverleaf to a stack interchange. Well, yes, it was a good idea. And yes, it did. Uh, and yes, while it can help a lot. The thing, the thing that made it so bad is that it took eight years. Construction started in 2016. And if you go here, Hold up. There's still tracking aerials in March 2024. Let's go down. Go over here. They were starting work in 2016, and there's still parts of closures going on right now, even though most direct connectors have been built. This is eight years of talking about hard construction in the area that many people drive by through, and it takes force on I-30, a little close to AT&T Stadium, because as you can clearly see, Ballpark Way. AT&T Way, ABC Stadium. So lots of traffic was delayed on this thing. And uh, it wasn't initially supposed to take eight years. It was only going to take about four. But then COVID happened. But after COVID, that's when things started to get complicated. Because if you look here, it said the project was slated for completion in 2020 after construction began in 2016 but that date has been pushed back several times think of that several times it's been pushed back and it's uh been uh, brought forward and even over here you can see yeah and you can clearly see progress to date uh, all of this, how it started, the cost of misery was $233 million, but even the cost went up. Inflation, yes, lack of resources, probably so, but... But kind of look, look at here, look when it was like anticipated to be completed, uh, 2022. 2022, think about that. I think, uh, and it's still going on. And, and what year is it? We're in 2024. It's kind of it's still going on. Yes, the direct connectors have been established. And yes, it's longer cloverleaf interchange. But the fact is, if you go through that area, there's still closures. There's still things need to be moved about. And stuff that's been going on for eight years now. Uh, which is, uh, in my opinion, quite frustrating for drivers who go through that area. <laughs> Look at the lengths of it and... And it usually gets compared to the high five. But compared to the high five, the high five only took like four years, like three to four years. But this takes double of that. And I don't think it's better than the high five because the high five is way more complex, takes way much more space, and took way less time to complete. While keeping its price tag, yes, due to inflation, it's higher, but it's kind of uh, better. And this is just a project track there from a few years back before it got, once again, pushed forward. I kind of like to go over here uh, so we can kind of see how it initially looked like. If you can go see, you can see now, as I said, the right connectors are actually done. They're complete. 
but uh, let's go to the date. Uh, I'll go to December 2017. Wow, this looks promising because they already had one of the uh, new bridges over here for like I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, it looked very promising, didn't it? That part is. I don't think it's as promising as it seems because look, this is how it uh, initially looked. As you can clearly see, uh, with Cloverleaf interchanges, the exit to probably past the highway so it can, you know, loop around. You can see 366 Six Flags Drive. But uh, the exit usually happen once you already go under the freeway that you're um, intersecting with. So it exits more of a curve and it loops around. And you can see transformation, right? Well, yes, it's good what they did. But it just took too long to do it. And whenever you push things back, especially with construction, it comes to bite you back. It comes to bite you back. Because you can't really get away with uh, taking so long on a project and uh, delaying it multiple times. And look over here, uh, this is an article. Uh, I did go over a bit of it. Look uh, look at this too. This is another problem with this project. The original price tag was $233 million, but last month, the new estimate jumped to $264 million. Again, the agency noted supply chain issues as well as inflation affecting concrete and steel prices. The contractor, Houston-based Williams Brothers Co., did not receive respond to a comment for comment okay the interchange will replace an existing clover leaf configuration improvements should increase safety connectivity and mobility for motorists says text stop I mean yeah it's vital but it's take it took way longer than it was supposed to because imagine that but it's not the thing, it's not just happening here, it's becoming a trend. It's becoming a trend. Many projects that were supposed to be completed way earlier than now are suddenly starting to be pushed back and delayed. It's not looking good for many projects. For example, 635 East Project, 2024, it was supposed to be complete by now. As I said, but it was before COVID pandemic and it's, well, yes, yeah, they're getting along and it's nearly done. But it uh, got pushed back to late 2025. And hopefully it stays there and doesn't last any longer. But uh, this is an increasing theme. It's a problem. must be solved. And uh, I'm just kind of here to voice my thoughts and concerns on this because lots of improvements were made. 360S was expanded, but you know, honestly, they, they also need to think about how long these projects are taking and how they affect traffic because you can't keep them gridlocked for eight years. Eight years is way too long of a time because in that time, I went to elementary, middle school, and uh, I was eight when it started. I'm, and uh, no, eight around seven or eight, and now I'm like sixteen. Just to tell you how long that project has been taking. I know it'll probably finish by the end of this year, but this is a problem, and it has to be stopped and it has to be solved. And this is becoming increasingly more gradual. And yes, the COVID pandemic affected a lot, but all the other projects that were affected by the COVID pandemic were still able to resume and complete very swiftly, like I-35 in Waco, uh, others, others that got completed. The Southern Gateway project, which started later than this project, by the way, yet finished in 2022. And that was also affected by the pandemic. So this project is quite literally Yes, it'll be good for the future, but how long it took is just disgraceful, you know. Hopefully this doesn't get repeated again, because construction projects like these shouldn't be taking that long. Okay, five, four, okay. But it's eight, it's just, it's honestly embarrassing, and uh, I think it has to improve. Something has to change, something has to give before this becomes a trend. Because even back in the day, certain highway projects used to take 10 years. We can't bring this back. It's too stressful for drivers and people who are going on the road. You know, I'm usually a supporter of Texas. 
this project was a stinker and uh, some of this probably should never be repeated again. And that's my thoughts on this and uh, hopefully I try to provide a little bit of explanation on why this took so long. But just remember, boy, put off things like this, put off certain closures, certain things you have to do in the project, it's going to come and bite you back eventually. And yeah, I'll see y'all. Peace.